This is a truly like new 2013 Rockwood Highwall Pop-Up Model 296HW. Um, the, uh, you know, really, I, I don't even like to call these pop-up campers. Obviously, they are a folding type camper, but it's more of a fold-down travel trailer than a pop-up camper. And while that may sound kind of insane, what I mean by that is this has a feature and amenity list um, often closer to a travel trailer than a pop-up. You know, it has a far superior kitchen uh, setting, full water heater, refrigerator, um, you know, uh, all the kind of things you'd expect to find in a travel trailer, not in a pop-up camper, even a bathroom facility. This does ride on an amazing suspension for a pop-up camper. Again, one of the reasons I call it a fold-down travel trailer. It has twin torsion rubber ride axles. Um, you see the aluminum wheels there. Now, compared to a normal pop-up, these are called high walls simply because the wall is very high. Not too complicated. But what that does is allows for bigger appliances. And uh, you notice, too, you have a full entry door and then a half-size travel door. That full entry door just makes it far more convenient when you're hopping in and out of the trailer. As you walk in here, you can see the uh, propane furnace right here. That's what we're looking at. That'll help keep you warm in the cooler months. Um, this giant black post is a TV stand. Previous owners did keep the TV, so there is not one in this camper as we are selling it. But it's kind of slick because the whole thing just sort of folds down and you can spin it out of the way. But that also means that it can be spun to service any part of the trailer very easily, as you see there. Um, right here, this is a slide-out. It's got a giant King Dinette, um, U-shaped Dinette slide-out. Lots of storage underneath this. I've got it down basically in the sleeper position right now, just to demonstrate that it can act as almost a second bed. Or, well, rather, pardon me, a third bed. Um, this model does have both air conditioning installed to keep you cool, as well as a 12-volt uh, attic fan right here. And that is one of these big, giant uh, Max Air type Creative Breeze fans that will really help keep a lot of air moving through here. Um, king beds, front and rear. Now what's really cool is both beds are heated. They have heating elements in them that can be plugged in and operated. Um, your stereo down here. Also, um, I believe DVD enabled. I'd have to double check that. It looks like it is definitely Bluetooth enabled. Yep, that is a DVD player. And it is Bluetooth enabled. So. You can simply plug your phone in to the outlet right here, keep your phone charging, wirelessly link music to your stereo, and enjoy it on your campsite. Very cool stuff. And again, like a travel trailer, not like a pop-up, we have a full oven with stove top, including grease shield for cooking. Man, they've never even used this. Look at that shine. They never used this thing. I don't think this camper was really used much at all. If this was used twice, I'd be surprised because it even still smells new in here and again that might sound nuts but when you when you're playing with RVs all day you, you learn to look for things like that this is all essentially a brand new camper um, again full sink with cover just like you'd have in a travel trailer this is your uh, stove control right here and tons of countertop space not normally found in a pop-up similar we have a microwave, not normally found in a pop-up, as well as a uh, larger refrigerator that's probably about three cubic foot, maybe a little bit larger, three and a half. Um, again, this does have a full bathroom is what we're looking at right here. You don't have to use this. If you leave it down, it's just extra counter space. If you have it folded up like I'm demonstrating here, then there you go. You have a full bathroom facility. It's kind of, it's called a wet bathroom. It's a combination shower and toilet. And then there's a full um, shower curtain ring that will wrap around to keep everything protected. Up front, we do have a uh, sofa that can jackknife down into an additional sleeping space. I like the handy little cup holders because it's actually a great idea. Otherwise, there's nowhere to put a drink and you probably spill it. And if you've noticed the little dryer sheets, if you're new at this, then you're not aware. Those are for critter prevention. So it's not like, oh, some slob left his stuff laying around. Those things tend to scare off critters just the way mothballs will, except they don't, you know, leave your trailer smelling like grandma's closet instead it leaves your trailer smelling you know hawaii fresh or whatever scent you prefer to use so there you go i mean all in all this thing's like i said basically brand new you are just going to save a lot of money on a big brand new camper so give us a call 800-256-5196 halid rv of coldwater michigan thank you everybody happy camping